Yo, what is up everybody? Today I have a dual con with my main man, Black Chaos. What is going on, Black Chaos? I must just chilling about to do this dual con with Mr. Madden Five Points. All right, well in this game, I have the Oregon Ducks. My opponent has the Auburn Tigers, and look at that, on the first play, what do you think is going to happen here? Like you going to pull it off? You going to yeah, pull it off? He's gone, and that's funny because... There's so little offense. I mean, there's offense in this game, but there's so little big plays in NCAA 14. So you were telling me earlier that you're thinking about comp in this game. What do you think, having seen videos online and, and maybe played the demo a little bit about NCAA 14? See, that's the thing. I never really got into the NCAA 14. I don't, I don't think I ever played one. Um, people talk about it being, you know, prep for the new Madden coming out. And so I actually thought about trying this, but the the feedback I'm getting from it is it's it's slow and you know I never really got into the college football thing so I think I might pass on it man I think I might oh, pass on man it. I think if I could go back in time <laughs> you know two weeks I think I would pass on it look at that look do you see him chuck the option out of his gut like he basically <laughs> put the the ball in his stomach like Quato from Total Recall and optioned it to the halfback there <laughs> so um, oh, oh. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was wondering, do a lot of the stock like blitzes and stuff, is it pretty much the same thing, you know, as no, far as man. some blitzes getting that work on 13? Getting consistent pressure is not as easy. I've been using takeaways 4-6, uh, his uh, defensive fire, or takeaway 4-6, his uh, defensive guide, and I'm not getting any consistent pressure, you know. Maybe, you know, in, in Madden where you'd get a blitz in – 50 to 70 percent of the time these blitzes are coming in one third to maybe 20 percent of the time and it's, it's not fun Ooh. so uh, mm. but conversely i mean you can you can run an offense and get down the field on pretty much anybody okay well, so, i'll pass on it man I, <laughs> I continue to watch the videos that you put up and and we'll watch it i hopefully hopefully it's not going to be a big difference with uh I mean, hopefully it is a big difference compared to what people are talking about. I would Madden think so. Hours. Just playing Madden 13 and then going to this game, I mean, the speed is just – it's not even close. Look how slow these plays develop. Look how – I mean, I like the, the Madden 13 that every play is a speed reaction. It's just all quick and bang, bang. And this is like you're just waiting for plays to develop. It's, it's, it's not as fun, honestly. Okay. So you are a former college football player. Why don't you like college football? <laughs> and it's funny you bring that up, man. After I, after I left WIU, I, I didn't mess with football anymore, man. It was just pretty much just the Madden. You know, I thought about walking on it. I actually transferred to Northern after I left Western, but I thought about walking on. I just pretty much gave up on it, man. I, I didn't follow it anymore. I didn't even follow my college team. We won a couple of championships while I was there, but I just – Never got back into it, man. I don't even now, watch it now. So, did you just not like? Were you just burnt out on football? Was that what it was? No, I wasn't just burnt out, man. It's just I, I've never really got into it, man. It's like you were playing it, and you know I was all into it then. And then once I I left it, it kind of like you know I think it was kind of like one of those things where I was I was kind of upset because I didn't do it anymore, and then I kind of just stayed away from it, never followed it, man. You know, I it was kind of funny when Julio Jones went to the Atlanta Falcons. I don't follow college um, football at all. I was like, man, is this guy good? Who the hell is Julio Jones? And I saw the first game, and I was like, God damn it. That was a Dude, good I, ass pick. I knew about <laughs> Julio Jones because he was at Alabama. I'm a big Auburn fan, and he would torch us, man. It, it was like having an NFL receiver out there on every down, mm -hmm. basically. It was sick having to watch him just torch us repeatedly. So. He's a stud, man. Yeah, I, I just never got into it, man. I don't think I ever will get into it. Now, I got to ask you, man. Uh, okay, did you play more than one season in, in college football? I, I played two two seasons, man. Okay, so the second year they, they start relaxing on you a little bit. What's the most messed up thing you did to a, to a freshman or a rookie as, a, as part of a <laughs> hazing incident? <laughs> you know what? I can tell you the, the craziest thing. I mean, as far as my experience, I wasn't. I wasn't like the little guy. I mean, I had a decent uh -huh. size, so I really didn't get um, bullied or hazed or anything like that or had to carry bags or anything like that. But um, I did 
actually do a, a – we actually went and, went and did something against the baseball team at, at WIU. And I don't know why we did this. It was just crazy. Uh, a group of us football players got together and actually went and flooded the field. Turned the water – I don't know why we did it, man. We went and turned all the water on and put the water hose on the field and just flooded the field just for the hell of it because we had nothing to do that night. But that was probably the craziest thing I ever did, man. I mean, and they didn't find getting... out it was you? They didn't – they were like, all oh, the nope. football team. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess they figured, like, hey, people in the athletic department wouldn't be doing things against other people in the athletic department. They probably thought it was like some – freshman acting stupid or some fraternity prank or something like that. But that was the craziest thing I ever did, man. I never got, you know, hazed or had to carry bags or anything like that. Uh, you're you know? lucky because I was in a fraternity. <laughs> and what we would do to the to the, uh, to the people that were uh, pledging, that we called them pledges. Oh, look at this fumble right here. It almost cost them the uh, uh, ball right there. But, okay, what we would do is during Hell Week, we would fill a toilet. Well, we would take a toilet and we would wrap it. We would line it with saran wrap and then take out all the water and put drinking water in it. And then we would put, <laughs> then we would put a banana down in there. And we would, this, we would. This is wrong, man. This is wrong. Know, this, this is, is wrong. So wrong. Level, man. You got to hear where this is going, though. And uh, we would take. And every event when you have a pledge is you would put a hood hood over the kid's head so he didn't know what was going on and yeah, be um, careful with them hoods man don't yeah, don't mix yeah. hood, well, we, hoods, never juice, and skittles anybody. don't mix man yeah this wasn't this wasn't like one of those drink till you die fraternities this we were just having fun and uh <laughs> basically we would cover their head and we would say hey if you if you want to pledge this fraternity if you can show us that you trust us you'll reach into this toilet and they could feel the porcelain i mean we would make sure that they had their hands on the porcelain and say you would reach in this toilet and pull out whatever's in there and uh and say that you know that you're you want to be a brother of this fraternity i mean people would puke and they would just they would go nuts look i get the interception right there and some of them would just they would freak out and then like see, we would take out their thing, hood, man, I can never do the pleasure thing, man, <laughs> because like I say, people get, in my opinion, they get carried away with that. Like I, I honestly, I would be like, man, you know what? Hey, it's cool, but I'll pass, man. <laughs> see, I'm not. I'm I not grabbing somebody else's For shit. For me, I was, I was a leader. <laughs> like I've always been a leader at everything I've done. And when they did it to me, my hood fell off. Like I looked, I peeked down for a second. And I saw that it was a banana. So not only did I reach in there and grab it, I took it. And I was like, yeah. And I'll show you how balls out I am. I'll eat it. And I <laughs> ate it in front. And they were like, oh. oh. Like, and, and like from then on, they, uh, and I started laughing. I was like, they were like, how'd you know, man? I was like, man, I got y'all. But hey, look at me <laughs> taking control of this game right here. Uh, oh, I got a, I got a list of things here. Hold on. Um, your brother, uh, Dwayne, he said, he said a couple things. Hold on, let me. Let me Before you start, I want to say something about Dwayne real quick. Yeah, yeah, what's that? He's a punk ass motherfucker. Okay, He's proceed. a punk ass motherfucker. <laughs> well, then, I'll just cancel the list because he said you were a straight up bitch. And that's that's the end of the game right there. I ended up winning. Well, <laughs> thanks for joining me on this dual comment. I really enjoyed it. All right, let's start the recording here. Let's cue up the movie. You see everything going? On the right, I see Oregon against uh, University of Auburn. Uh, Ar Arbor, <laughs> Arbor, Arbor. <laughs> Shit, I should have been. <laughs> That's gonna go in the outtakes right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay to any college ball. All right, ready on the count of three. 